In this FlexSim Basics video, we're going to discuss the elements that add functionality to your model, pick lists and triggers. Many of the events that take place in models are associated with object triggers. Triggers allow you to make objects do certain things based on the current event happening in the model. So a trigger will fire each time a specific event occurs. For example, the on exit trigger fires each time an item leaves the current object. You can specify any number of custom behaviors as a reaction to this event. Every object has a set of triggers relevant to the object's function, which can be found in the Triggers tab on that object's properties window. Pick lists, on the other hand, are predefined behaviors that can quickly be selected from drop down menus. Flexim users can use FlexScript to program practically anything into their model, but the wide array of pick list options make it easy to customize your model in a code free environment. There are many picklist options available when creating a trigger, but picklist can be found outside the triggers tab as well, controlling flow, setting process times, and managing the transportation of items, to name a few. Just determine how you want an object to behave and select the corresponding picklist option. Let's start a new model and show you how these elements can be found in an object. Click and drag a processor out from the library and drop it into the 3D view. Now double-click on that processor to open its properties window. You'll see that the process time of this object is set to 10 time units for each item, regardless of item type and with no variability whatsoever. Luckily, we have picklist options that can make the processing time more dynamic and better suited for the situation you're modeling. Click on the black arrow on the right side of the text box to show a drop-down list full of picklist options for process time. These options can automatically change the processing time based on a statistical distribution, a specific case, time of day, or really anything else depending on the needs for this machine. If you click on the Triggers tab now, you can see the many events that we can add triggers to. For the processor, a trigger can be added when the model is reset, when a message is received, when an object enters and also when it exits, when the setup has completed, and when the process has finished. There is also a custom draw trigger, which will be discussed in a future video. First determine on which event you would like something to happen, and then click the green plus sign to add a trigger to that event. Let's say the process changes the color of the item to blue. Click to add a trigger to the on process finish event, and select set color from the list of pick list options. This pick list has the capability to change colors based on a specific case. But for now, we just want the item to turn blue, so select Color Blue open paren, Item close paren, as the default option. Now each time the processor finishes processing an item, the trigger will fire and the item's color will be changed to blue. Triggers and pick list options will play a major part of any successful simulation model, and are featured in most of the tutorials beyond this basic series, so make sure you understand what they are and how to find them. Thank you for watching. For more information on FlexSim products or to view more tips and tricks for successful modeling, please visit www.flexsim.com.